Hello, hello, hello! What's up, what's up, mga Achimek? Sir Zello here once again for another episode of Chemistry. So, last time, we've already talked about subatomic particles, atoms, matters. We've already talked about elements, no? a periodic table, their chemical symbol. And then, we jumped into chemical formula. Now, finally, we are here into balancing chemical equation. So, again, as I've mentioned earlier, uh, please do not interchange the terms chemical symbol. Those are the symbols for element. And chemical formula for the compounds and our chemical equations. So welcome to another episode of Chemistry, the Stoichiometry. <laughs> Alright, for today's session, we are going to uh, learn about, yan, mag next ka. Yan. Uh, we are going to uh, try to achieve the follow following objective. Sorry, medyo naglalag na naman si Converse. So first is to write equations for chemical reactions and then balance the following equations. And then perform exercises on writing and balancing chemical equations. Now, probably some of you, ah, ito na balancing equation, no? In your expectation settings, I've heard a lot of complaints about chemistry, specifically balancing equation. Now, most of you hated balancing equation, but I think balancing equation is very relevant, very relevant into our life, no? It's very uh, applicable and it's very similar to our daily life. So before I proceed, with the real deal, no. Let's try to look at some scenario. No? Let's have l let's have a little fun. Now, uh, at your home, please try to generate possible answer, even in your brain. No, no need to take note of the answers. So many people can solve the Rubik's cube. You know that. No? some high school student can do it in a two minutes, three minutes, or even a minute. No? Some can do it blindfolded. No? How about you? How many minutes can you do it? But nonetheless, no, how can we make it more difficult and interesting? So out of creativity, many, many company created a uh, 4x4 cube, a 2x2 rather, and then merong 8x8, 16x16, merong triangular, that, but that's not cube anymore, right? Uh, nonetheless, they are very creative in making that more interesting. And then one idea, no, I don't know if this has been created. I think it's uh, just an idea. A Rubik's Cube with blades in it. No? Would you dare make solve it as fast as you can? No, it's either you make it in a minute, but you lose your finger. Nonetheless, it's a creative idea. So, Rubik's Cube plus knife, knives, we call it Ruby Knives or knives cubes nor cubes charot <laughs> anyways no uh, that's a combination of two different things now uh, uh one instance uh in the philippines and some countries as well no they find their little children you no know, hard to uh encourage to brush their teeth so maybe when you were a child you are guilty of it or if you have younger brother or sister you know ang hirap nilang Turuan mag toothbrush or utusan. They'd rather play. No? So, as a result, no, some creative mind created this one. Charan! Uh, toothbrush in a uh, toy gun. So, toy gun plus toothbrush, that is your uh, toy brush. <laughs> or tooth gun. <laughs> or gun tooth. Ay, medyo bad pakinggan. So, let's stick with the toy brush. But nonetheless, Two opposite things being combined to create magnificent yet complete product. Now, out of two ingredients, out of two raw material. Another one here. No, there are many flash dive brands, de right? Oftentimes we don't want to even check the durability. We we just need sometimes even the brand. No, some meticulous buyers would check the brand and compare them for the others. But for most of us, it's just the price no if not the price the design however prices really does not uh, differ differ on high amount no so what we are looking for is the physical appearance no the aesthetic that's why during the time of the uh, civil war they created 
this one, no? the Civil War movie, rather. Uh, the USB inspired by our heroes. No? I'd rather buy one, lalo na tong kay Thor. No? Di ba? Ang cool. But making it more unique. Two different things, USB and heroes. Di ba? Completely different. Yet creating one unique product. So that's Flash Drive plus Avengers. That's Flash Avengers. Or maybe The Flash. Di ba? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hindi naman yun kasali dun si The Flash. But nonetheless, again, two different things forming one uh, single uh, 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 identity. Diba? Hirap ka ba magluto ng bilog na itlog? Eto na, sa kawaling, may mga butas. Or, titipid ka ba sa iyong wallet at nagre-recycle dahil mahal mong alikasan? Gawin ang pagbahay na wallet. Nag-endorse lang Sir Zylo. Tamad ka bang yumuko? So, bili na ng daspan na apakan mo lang. And then, ayaw maligo ng anak mo ng kapatid mo, lagyan mo ng ilaw. ba? Diba? Amazing. A small things, two opposite things, and being combined to create one unique uh, thing, one unique product, one unique output. And then, yeah, and we have creativity out of our mind, no? turning it into reality. So, ano pang iniintay nyo? Shopee! <laughs> Char lang. So, what's the point I'm making here, you know? Uh, in stoichiometry, we are going to talk about two things which are two completely different things or two things that are actually no, uh, no relationship to each other, then eventually they combine to for something very significant, no? something very important that we keep on using every day without even noticing it. So ladies and gentlemen, mga kachimek, Welcome sa ating stoichiometry. So, what is stoichiometry? It's a very technical term. So, let's chunk it down. Uh, actually, stoichiometry is a Greek term. No? The stoich means element, and metri is just simply measurement. So, in layman's term, it simply means measuring elements. In particular, we get to measure elements by weighing them, or atom in particular. And... We, we simply talk about things that comes in and comes out into a given reaction. So again, I can talk all day, but this definition will not uh, be appreciated until we put it into practice. So let's have a simple uh, explanation of what stoichiometry is. So say for instance, your Joa called you, di ba? Babe, babe. Hello, babe. How are you? How are you? What are you doing? Uh, ba diba? Kala mo naalala ka. E, yun pala, may kailangan. Babe, <laughs> wala, wala si mama, wala si papa. Gutom na ako. And I want to eat a sandwich. How can I make one? Ikaw naman, tatawang-tawa ka pa. Ay, babe, bobo naman ito. Ang gwapo-gwapo sana. Uh, sa sandwich lang, hindi kayang gumawa. Yeah, pero nakasmile ka pa niya, na. So, uh, still, dahil sa pagmamahal mo sa kanya, you'll help him. No? You'll help him how to create his sandwich. Sabi mo, Since ikaw ay very detailed and very uh, mapagmahal na girlfriend, you told him, uh, ah, babe, ganito lang yan. You need a slice bread and an egg omelet. No? Pwede yung gawin mo social. Uh, mashed potato with egg. ba? Diba? Para mas masarap ang yung sandwich. No? Or you can add some. No? Depende. So, and another slice bread. So, technically, to create one slice bread, you need two slice breads. And one egg omelette. So to simplify, ito na, bear with me, we'll have a little mat. You need two breads, the left and the right char, and one plate of egg omelette. So sabihin natin, makipalaman ka. And there you have it, you have one sandwich. Well, pwede ko siyang lagyan ng one dito, pero given naman na one, ba? Diba? Right. And then... Uh, kala ni girlfriend mo, okay na, but babe, <laughs> alam mo naman ang makikain ako. Hindi, hindi sa akin sakto ang isang bread lang. No? I can't, uh, I, uh, the one bread, the one sandwich would not suffice. So I need two, two breads, no? two sandwiches in particular. Uh, since matalino kang girlfriend, paano? Paano mo i- i-instruct kung ilang slice ng bread ang kailangan at ilang sandwich? So, let's do the math. Now, your boyfriend 
wants to sandwich. So, SW na lang natin. To sandwich. And do you know that uh, huh? you'll be needing two bread to make one sandwich. no? And then, you'll be needing one omelette so, lagyan natin. One egg na lang. Ito, 2B. Sige. Alright. So, you'll be needing two. Two. I, your boyfriend want two sandwiches. So, in order to determine how many bread, you multiply the coefficients. Two times two. That is four. So, four bread. So, never mind the, the variables. Two times one. That's two. So, two egg omelette. So, therefore, I'll be needing four sandwiches or four breads rather and then two egg omelettes to complete my two egg sandwiches. That's yan! Yay! Stoichiometry, ladies and gentlemen. Diba? Ang dali. No, what if, what if your boyfriend asks, ah, magaling ka talaga, babe. No, what if meron ako mga bisita? No, and... Uh, I want to know how many breads uh, will I need to create, sabi nating my seven visitors ako. Uh, how many bread, no, slice of bread do I need in order to create seven sandwiches? So, ilan kaya? So, we can do the math. Seven. Seven slice bread. Uh, seven. Seven sandwiches is needed for my visitors. And I know that for every sandwich, for every sandwich, I need two breads. So let P becomes bread. So for every one sandwich, it, it's becoming mat, right? No, pero this is the right process. So to make seven sandwiches, I need two bread per sandwich. Sandwiches will cancel. Seven times two over one, that would be 14 breads. Jala! There you have it. No, our very simple stoichiometry. So again, do not be afraid of stoichiometry because we can associate it to life though. Though not literally the same, no, we can associate it always to life so that we can remember it. Now, for instance, are you familiar with this one? Hopefully you haven't forget how to read, no, the chemical formula. So we have a hydrogen and a chlorine that gives us hydrochloric acid very good now just imagine your hydrochloric acid being your sandwich so let me write it here your hydrochloric acid now to form this hydrochloric acid so bear with me now i'll use an arrow to say that we formed our hydrochloric acid diba? as i've mentioned hindi yan basta basta nag chinin. it comes after a reaction and of course no by law of conservation of mass and matter no, will be needing the hydrogen and the chlorine. So, hydrogen and then chlorine. And if you can remember, our hydrogen does not exist alone. No, It's always diatomic. Manaalala, see, have no fear on ice cold beer. So, let me write it here. Have no fear on ice cold beer. Beer, no? These are your seven diatomic elements that cannot exist alone. Lagi silang may subscript na two. Diba? Therefore, you cannot see an equation with simply like this one. No? The H always comes in pairs, so as with your CL. No? Have no fear on ice cold beer. Now, uh, let's check this equation out. No? Now we are dealing with equation. Again, chemical symbol chemical formula now becoming a chemical equation. Now, how do we uh, balance this one? Uh, let's check it out. Or how do we first, you know, yeah, how do we balance it? Uh, we see here that there are two hydrogen and two chlorine. While on the other side, there are one hydrogen and one chlorine only. No? So, sir, maybe I can simply add two here and two here, or maybe simply I can do that. Uh, can I do that? Oops, nagando ako. Wag naman sana. Of what? What did I just do? 
Oh, magic. So I'm just discovering things. May ganun pala pag ganarn. Nag-control Z ako. I should have not done it. Zoom pala 'yon. So nonetheless, I'll be using eraser. So I cannot do that, no? Take note, it's a big no-no to change the subscript of a, re a reactant or a product. So let let's name this one, no? Whatever comes uh, uh, to the right side of the arrow, that is your product. So wherever the arrow is pointing at, that is your product. Alright? No matter how many, basta sa kanya nakatutok ang arrow, that's your product. And the opposite side will be your reactant or reactants. No? On the next example, or probably next meeting, we'll be dealing with some uh, that involves uh, reactant, no, one reactant forming two products. Your reactants and your products. So going back, we only have one H and one Cl, so we can just add a subscript here. No? That's the only thing we can do to add subscript. So let's check. Now I'll be having two hydrogen and two Cl. Same with this one and this one. There you have it, a balanced equation. No? Just like making your sandwich. But again, practice makes progress. No, We cannot master a topic on one example. So let's have another one. And let's have this kind of example. And again, this is very relevant. So two diatomic element no, in our atmosphere, nitrogen and hydrogen, is floating around, creating your NH3. So what is our NH3? That is our ammonia. No, one that is very responsible in giving uh, giving fertilizer on our ground so that we can grow our crops. I think I have a picture here. Yeah, and so then, sort of our, uh, of our corn, right? So how do we balance, uh, how do we check no, if this equation is correct? So nitrogen, notice, has two, while hydrogen has two as well. But on the other side, my ammonia big comes NH3 with one nitrogen and three hydrogens. How did that happen? It can't be. It can't be. Diba? Sabi na mga uh, ano natin, bozo Z. It uh, can't be because we need to follow the law of conservation of mass. Now, there's something missing here. There's an error in our equation. Now, diba? We are just fixing the equation because something is missing. So in reaction, Remember, according to Dalton, atoms are neither created nor destroyed. So, they must be retained. We cannot lose a nitrogen atom nor a hydrogen atom so much as adding another atoms on the other side without a source. Diba? It should always be balanced. So, the first thing is we must have an equal number of each type of an atom to both sides of the reaction arrow. So let's check. Again, it's not balanced. The next thing is to start by balancing those elements that occur in only one compound on each side of the equation. In this case, you know, we have to take a look at this compound. It, it is missing one nitrogen. It should have two nitrogen. So my invisible coefficient dito na one. So in order to do that, I'll ne I need to add two. So I'll be adding two here. Oh, I think, yeah, magic from red. And, and that would make my nitrogen 2, right? So, equal na siya dito. However, it will also affect my hydrogen. So, 2, time three, two times 3, my hydrogen will be 6. And here, it's still 2. So, there's a problem. Wait, sir. Maybe I can add 3 here. And that is brilliant. Chadaan! Three hydrogen, two nitrogen. So what does it mean, sir? No, a nitrogen does not necessarily mean it met one hydrogen diatomic element. No, the diatomic element. One nitrogen needs three hydrogen molecule to form two ammonia. So for the visuals, ganito yung nangyayari. Our nitrogen molecule meets the the Hydrogen molecules, so Muslim, <laughs> si ano, polygamous, si nitrogen natin. And then, it create two ammonia. So what if I have three sets of hydrogen? 
I'll, uh, what if I have this one, no? So, ito yung nangyayari. I borrowed it from a video. Chiren! What if I have uh, more, more nitrogen, no? Two nitrogen. Therefore, I need six hydrogen. Three is to one ratio palagi tayo. So, chan! One will combine, 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 combine. Chiren! And there you have it, your ammonia. It always go by 3 is to 1 ratio. 1 nitrogen for uh, uh, 3 hydrogen molecules. Alright. Now, 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 dapat yan. Now, what if there are more than one molecule on both sides of the equation, of our chemical equation in particular? Ito na. Sir, ang hirap naman yan. So, we'll have, we have a step here. No, I forgot. I I've been writing it by pen, but there are there are already answers pala in the PowerPoint. So the first thing to do, so that you will not be overwhelmed, is to count them just like your bread and omelet. So here we count the number of atoms. So I have carbon, hydrogen, and chlorine. So first I have to identify, by the way, the elements involved: so carbon, hydrogen, and chlorine. Next thing to do is to add their uh, respective number per atom. So, carbon has 1 only, hydrogen is 4, and then chlorine is 2. Here, I have carbon. I'll do the same thing. Carbon, hydrogen, and chlorine. And let me check. Oh, it's moving. Carbon is 1, hydrogen is 1, and chlorine is 4 plus 1, that is 5. It's quite problematic because it's not balanced. And by the way, no, just a disclaimer, before we, before you proceed in balancing them, check first if all the elements on this side is located on the other side. Kasi pag may isa na kulang, you cannot balance it no matter what. So sometimes there are three questions like that. So be careful. No? Be careful with my heart. Char. So yeah, for a more clearer view, there you go. Now, the next thing to do is very simple. Locate the element that is not balanced. So, in this case, carbon is equal, hydrogen 4, hydrogen 1. So, I cannot reduce the number of my hydrogen here, but I can increase the number of hydrogen on the other side. And to do that, I have to multiply or to follow the upper number. You know? I need my 1 to become 4. And to do that, I'll add 4 here, no? So that I can have 4. Yan. This will give me 4. Balance out. However, my chlorine would be affected. So this one will be affected. So I'll have 4 chlorine plus 4 chlorine here. My 5 will become 8. So that's another problem. But uh, another problem means another solution. So 2 here. I locate for chlorine. I have two chlorine here, so I'll just add four. Four. And there you have it, eight. So let me check. One for eight, one for eight, and now this equation is balanced. No? My step by step paladito. Chidin, chidin. Magic. We just added four. Alright. Now try this one. Pause the video and try this on your paper. And by the way, no, as you're doing this, so that we may not forget uh, the the equations or the chemical names, no, try to name them. Like for example, this one. What's the name? This is your four. This is a uh, covalent, so that's your tetraphosphorus, ten decaoxide, pero AO cancel, so tetraphosphorus decox decoxide. And this becomes dihydrogen monoxide yielding to what acid is this? This is your phosphate and then your hydrogen. So this becomes phosphic acid. Now hopefully you will not forget that one. Uh, those those important terms. Now phosphic acid or uh, phosphus acid. Now, for phosphoric acid rather or phosphorus acid. I'm not sure of the coefficient of PO4. No, kung, kung yung 3 ang phosphate or 2 negative ba yung phosphate. Nonetheless, it's an acid. So these are being formed from two covalent compounds.
Alright, hopefully you're done. So, same same thing to do. List down the number. 4 phosphorus, 10, uh, 11 oxygen. Bakit 11 sir ang oxygen? You have 10 here and another one here that makes it 11. You have 2 hydrogen here. On the other side, 1, 4, 3. Diba? Sana all. <laughs> I love you. Ito, ito yung ginagawa mo pakatapos mong tumae. Po, po. <laughs> Charlotte. <laughs> mga, basta mga kalokohan talaga. Anyway, si add 4 here. Multiply 4. So, maglalagay ka dito kasi di mo marireach to kasi nasa gitna. Bawal mo siyang isingit dito ah. Since it's one compound, you add you add the coefficient here. No? Because they are w considered 1. However, this will be all affected. 4 times 3, this becomes 12. 4 times 4, this becomes 16. No, na balance mo si phosphorus pero ito hindi. So dito, how can I make my 11 16? So that's a, a problem. Pero let's uh, let's forget that first. Dito muna tayo sa mas madali. 2 12. Uh, how can I make it 12? So I multiply it by 6. So this becomes 12. So I multiply here 6, 6 times 2 12. However, my oxygen would be affected 6 times 1, 6, plus 10, it becomes 16. It, the way it has been affected, it was a positive affection. Diba? Sana all positive affection. This is your balance equation now. Now, for the last example, so, yan, merong digital way of solving it. Ching, the cancellation. Yan. That's the last example, by the way. No? And I have a quote here from our course pack. The meeting of two personalities is like the contact of two chemical substances. If there is any reaction, both are transformed. So, nahanap mo na ba ang mga pagbago ng buhay mo? Charot! <laughs> so, for your task for today, no, please, please watch, uh, please, please solve this uh, on your paper, no, and turn in a photo of your answer. This will be a formative. No, it's okay if you got it wrong. We'll be discussing this in our virtual, uh, a sing a virtual synchronous session on Friday. Thank you so much, Maachimek. Should you have questions, clarifications, please uh, do not hesitate to comment down below or uh, send me a message. This has been Sir Jello. Peace out.